So, Virgos, this is going to be for the next 48 hours, July 23rd through the 24th. Thank you so much for joining me. Of course, this is going to be general. Only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you are in need of more of a personal reading, just check out the information listed in the description. Also, if you're new, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat whenever we post here on the YouTube channel and like the video. All right. Now, before I even get into the reading Virgos, I really get this sense that hmm, you guys are really going to be either. And when I say that this is for my people who are like new to the spiritual journey, you're going to be really getting in tune with. Spiritual knowledge, shadow work. Some of you could be realizing that you need to do some shadow work. You just may have never like realized what that meant <laughs> or what that would look like for you. Um, a lot of you could be also just embracing your psychic abilities. If you've noticed that you've been able to kind of like pick up energy in a room, whether that's like ghosts or um like being able to feel things or sense things and just know something's up. You guys may be like now embracing it or maybe even trying to enhance it in some sort of way. Especially for my people who may like read tarot themselves. Also, you may just feel like this strong, like inner knowing about someone or something during this time frame. Like, intuition is on a bean. I don't know if I said this to you guys last 48 hour forecast, but I definitely get this like strong intuitive energy around some of you. Um, also, this is a time frame in which you're really trying to connect with source after going through a fair share of things. You may be realizing that the only way for you to find guidance or the light at the end of the tunnel is to go through source and trusting in source. Hmm. Let's get into the reading. Sorry, guys. You and your present situation, we have the justice card. So you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be trying to be like patient with this person in terms of you guys working the relationship out and things becoming balanced, especially if this is someone you've been with for a minute. You may even be married to. You value the relationship, so you don't want to necessarily just give up. But you could be feeling as if you're you're reaching that point here, okay, where divorce may be on the table, or this person may have mentioned divorce a couple of times, and you could be feeling like at any moment this person could just be giving up on the relationship, and it's just not, it's not something that you're looking forward to, okay, especially if this is someone you have children with. Um, I also see where. Some of you are coming to terms with the divorce that may have recently happened or considering if you should marry your person. This is also karma. So you could be waiting for someone to receive their fair share of karma after like ghosting you or putting you through a level of heartbreak and then like leaving you in a space where you feel like you're stagnant or you're stuck. Um, if there was like some legal stuff that you were waiting to clear, whether this is like a lawsuit or just some legal stuff that you have to deal with, there may be a little bit more of a delay with that, um, like going to court or getting a response back from um, like a lawyer or something like that. But what I see in terms of actions you could take during this time frame, I do have the strength card. So this is staying focused, determined. Also, removing your ego out of all your interactions during this time frame. Um, if you have egotistical people around you who may be operating out of like their ego and, and treating you like crap, reserving your energy from that situation. If you have a Leo in your life in some capacity, um, this is dealing with that situation or... Yeah, whatever situation you have in connection to a Leo. <laughs> I 
someone who has like strong Leo energy in their chart. This is also like dropping your guard. Some of you are way too defensive and this is going to keep opportunities away from you by operating in defense. Now, the obstacle or challenge that may come up in this time frame, we have the page of pinnacles or the page of materials. So this is remaining too hopeful, for, too hopeful, excuse me, for someone who may be not worthy of it. Like whenever I see the page of pinnacles, this is like wishful thinking for someone who may have the potential to, you know, be a better person or to do this or to do that, but not all the way following through. So the challenge may be that you're having so much wishful thinking for someone to come through or to change and to be more loving or to do things differently in the relationship. And they may just not be trying like that. Or for my people who may be unemployed right now, like getting a good sense of what you want to do career-wise may be a little difficult. Like what direction to start at or with a business. You could be feeling like you want your business to be a lot bigger and you want it to expand. You have all these great ideas, but it may take funding or you don't know if it's going to be actually successful if you were to follow through with these ideas. Now, what I see in regards to the future with the page of emotions or the page of cups, you could be dealing with like someone who's just acting really immature during this time frame or hard to understand or get a grip on. Um, this could even be someone who's just like trying to come your way and like win you back over, but they could be doing it in a way where it's not like reassuring for our people who are kind of like single you could have someone who's trying to pursue you, but you could not be like, you could basically feel like you don't want to take them serious because they could be playing a level of games or you just don't trust them. Hmm. Like I said, you may be feeling some intuitive nudge about someone, something about their energy, but this last card, this is going to represent what you've been ignoring that you will have to face during this time frame. Now we have the two of materials in reverse and the two of pinnacles. So this is the up and down in a relationship and how it may need to stop. Whether this is you guys having really, really high, high highs and low lows and it being like more frequent than it needs to be like every other day. Um, this is some instabilities financially Finding a good grip on how you can like save money, pull back on spending, finding out what you're going to do with your job situation. Some of you may have been kind of putting that off for a little bit. Like this is any area in your life where you've been delaying to make a decision. It's time for you guys to make a decision. <laughs> okay. So this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective and that you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs the video up and subscribe. Of course, all my information to book will be listed below and I'll see you in the next one.